Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to continue you on your journey of encapsulant knowledge. And today I'm going to introduce you to some really innovative micro-encapsulated materials. Now these particular materials are called Kerabeads and Vigabeads, put out by Capsulant. And they are around one micrometer in diameter. This is of course really, really small. But one of the amazing things about these materials is the coating is nano thin. So they contain more than 99.5% active loading. In fact, one drop of these materials contains more than a billion encapsulate beads. Now these materials work because of their coating and where they contain oil soluble substances such as the materials I'm going to be showing you today, the polymer coating, when it actually dries out, the oil soluble components will break through that barrier and release their contents onto the hair or the skin. Now the materials I've chosen are particularly good for hair and skin repair. Here is a bit of an image showing exactly how they work. They have a charge complex process that forms a polyamphoteric film that targets and repairs damage in the hair. The encapsulates seek out and lock onto the highly charged and damaged areas to rapidly bind, seal and restore the hair so it's left silky, soft and repaired. Not only do they work fantastically, they also provide a fantastic marketing story for you to include in your product. And the product I'm going to create today is a very simple hair serum. Now this will repair the hair but it also feels really light on application and has that high efficacy from their split ends bonding together because of these very special encapsulates. To get started, I've just got my water here with my preservative present, and I'm going to add my gums in a slurry method. Now, I'm making a very natural-based product today. Now, I'm actually combining sclerotium and xanthan gum because the xanthan gum, of course, thickens extremely well, great for stabilising. But if I use too much of it, it can feel quite tacky. Now, when I first apply this product, it does feel a little tacky on the hair, but within about 30 seconds to one minute, all of that tackiness goes away and the product just feels beautiful. Um, I'm combining it with sclerodian gum because, again, fantastic stability from that gum. It does take a little longer to hydrate than when using just xanthan gum. Um, but of course, there is very little tack, um, practically none at all when using sclerodian gum. So I'm using a combination of the two gums to build viscosity and stability to this product. When we've combined our gums into our gel, Sclerotin gum typically takes overnight to swell properly, so I'm going to check and adjust the pH, store this overnight, and come back tomorrow to finish it off. Okay, so now we're going to finish this product off, and we needed the gums to fully hydrate because we need them to help stabilize what we're about to add. I'm purposely avoiding uh, standard emulsifiers to keep the product really light on the hair. Now while that's just mixing through, here's a screenshot of some of the incompatibilities of Kerabeads and Vega beads, but you'll see they're really easy to formulate with and still get those fantastic effects. And there you have it. Sometimes the simple things really are the best. Made simple, of course, through the use of these amazing Vega beads. I know that Hannah and I will be fighting over who gets to keep this sample. 
I for one was very impressed with how well this product works to repair my split ends. I hope you've enjoyed this video presentation on micro-encapsulated materials. Happy formulating!